This is a little bit of a, it's certainly a different way of teaching than I was taught and probably most of you too, but I promise you it works for our students and makes sense to them and we're really happy with it. We've been teaching Singapore math at our school for about seven years now. Our teachers are very well trained and really, really have the program down. So um, I'm going to start off just talking to you about the reason we chose this program. So about seven years ago, when we were looking at new math programs, one of the things that we could say was, yes, our kids were good with calculating, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, but where we really thought they needed more work was in the area of problem solving. Uh, many students would read a problem and just, do I add, do I subtract, what do I do here? And so we wanted to find a program that we thought made a lot of sense to them, help them to really break a problem down and be able to solve it in a way that made a lot of sense to them. And so, after looking at a lot of different programs, we chose Singapore Math. Three hundred seventy-eight plus four hundred eighty-one. So three hundreds plus four hundreds equals seven hundreds. Value seven hundred. Seven tens plus eight tens equals fifteen tens. Value 150. Eight ones plus one one equals nine ones. Value nine. Mental math 859. Four hundred thirty five and minusing one hundred sixty four. So So I have four hundreds, I owe one hundred, I still have three hundreds, value three hundred. I have three tens, I owe six tens, I still owe three tens, value thirty. Mental math, two hundred seventy. I have five ones, I owe four ones, I still have one one. Value 1. Mental math 271. Our multiplication problem is 2718 times 4. First, you do 4 times a thousands digit, which is 2. You get the product of 8,000. Then you do four times the hundred digit, which is seven, and you will get the product of 2,800. After that, you do four times the tens digit, which is one, and you will get the product of 40. Then you do four times the ones digit, which is eight, and you will get the product of 32. If you add up all the products, you will get 10,872. Six hundred seventy-two divided by four. In division, you always have to use friendly numbers. So four can go into six hundred seventy-two one hundred times in friendly numbers. Four times one hundred is four hundred. So four six hundred seventy-two subtract four hundred is two hundred seventy-two. Four can divide into two hundred seventy-two sixty times in friendly numbers. 4 times 60 is 240. 240 subtract, 272 subtract 240 is 32. 4 can go into 32 8 times. 4 times 8 is 32. 32 subtract 32 is 0. That means you have a remainder of 0. If you add up all the quotients, you'll get 168. My name is William. And my name is Anisha. We are second graders and we are going to do a two-step model drawing. So first we read the entire problem. Mrs. Perry has 498 pieces of candy. Mrs. Shalimar has 79 more pieces of candy than Mrs. Perry. 
How many pieces of candy does Mrs. Shelma have? So first we need to know who's in the problem and what's in the problem. Mrs. Perry and Mrs. Shelma, and they both have candy. Then we draw unit bars of equal length. And there, since there are two people, there are two unit bars. And we, and we read the first sentence. Mrs. Perry has 498 pieces of candy. It is a part, so it will go in her box. Then we read the second question. Mrs. Shalmar has 79 more pieces of candy than Mrs. Perry. So we add a chunk and put 79 in it. Since for the boxes are equal, 498 goes in both boxes. Now we read the question sentence. How many pieces of candy does Mrs. Shalmar have? So we put the question mark on top of her box. Then we do the computation using the left to right head. Um, 498 plus 79. Four hundreds plus zero hundreds is four hundreds. Value four hundred. Nine tenths plus seven tenths is sixteen tenths. Value one hundred sixty. Mental math five hundred sixty. Eight ones plus nine ones is seventeen ones. Value seventeen. Mental math five hundred seventy seven. Mrs. Shalomar has 577 pieces of candy. Now let's ask another question. How many pieces of candy does, do they have all together? Now we know how much Mrs. Shalomar has, 577, so we put it on top of her box. Since we want to know how much Miss Perry and Miss Shalimar has all together, we put the question mark on the side because we want to know how much candy they want to have all together. Then we do, then we do the computation. 498 plus 577. 400 plus 500 equals 900. Value 900. 9 tenths plus 7 tenths equals 16 tenths. Value 160. Mental math 1060. 8 ones plus 7 ones equals 15 ones. Value 15. Mental math 1075. Mrs. Perry and Mrs. Shalomar have 1000. 75 pieces of candy all together. We hope this was helpful.